Hey everybody, today I'm showing you this cool large pet feeder. The guys behind it were kind enough to send me a unit to review. This is the Doku 5L large dog feeder. Now I have cats and don't have dogs, but as I talked to the company, they said that because it can handle kibble from two millimeters to 22 millimeters, you should be able to use cat food anyway. So let's see, let's find out together. I've not opened this before. I'm opening it right now for the first time. So I'm gonna go through it with you guys, see what's included. So let's open it. This is by far the largest pet feeder that I've owned. Just remove this. This is your main unit. This does have multiple power supply options, so you can power the battery and electricity, so your pets don't go without food. This was everything that was included in the box. Now when you open it, I'm sure you can access all the other parts. So I can remove this. Here's your manual, your bowl, your cables, your cleaning, everything that you need is here. This is everything that's included. You get the main unit, you get your adapter, your air blower, your cleaner, your cable, your desiccant, your manual. This is actually three in one. So these are your upper and lower bowl feeders with the stainless steel bowl here. So you have the option to customize. This is the back of the machine. I can put batteries here. You have the adapter here. You, have, you need one of these also. As they say in the guide, if you go to the manual, they actually explain a lot of this stuff. You lift this up to clean it. I'm just gonna lower it. Because they actually explain everything, it's pretty straightforward, even though the guide also explains how you actually clean and take care of this. Before getting it started, you just wanna make sure you know what, how you're supposed to use this for smaller pets and larger pets. For larger pets, you're gonna have both of these. For smaller pets, you just use this. You just have to lower it like that. It stays put. And this should be great for cats. When I was going through the manual, I was wondering where you put these desk and packs. It turns out when you open the door and you look here, this is where it is. So you just have to open this. So you just tear this and return this to where it needs to be. Just close this. So far, even before turning this on, I'm impressed with how easy it is. And so this is now how you turn it on. Now I haven't actually put any cable in there, so I have to do that. And you want to do that before you're getting started. And you want to make sure that it's under 0.9 inches or 22 millimeters, roughly as they say. To unlock this, you're going to have to hold this. Now we're gonna set time. First, I'm gonna unlock it again. 24 hour format. And now you can actually choose when you wanna give your pets food. Now I'm going to record a voice for my cats. Time for food, guys. Come on, to listen to what you've recorded, a short press here is enough. Time for food, guys, come on. Now I'm gonna set different times for their meals let's say 11 30. let's go the time here is correct now this one i want it to be 11 30. and that's portion size for the second one i'm gonna go for let's say 6 p.m so on and so forth so you can do it for all of these and it shows you on this display here how many you've set you do have the option to manually feed your pets first you want to make sure that it's unlocked and then you press this button as far as the size with these buttons you can see all the plans that you have conveniently they're smaller than what's suggested should they should work fine there is a max line, so make sure you don't go above that. I'm just gonna put a little. I 
I'm gonna give them manually. Let's see. Time for food, guys. Come on. I'm gonna test this with my cats actually see how they like it. Now I've added six programs and you can go through them easily here so I can easily see why it is, what the portion sizes are. Now for these last ones, I haven't actually added any portion size. I can always change that and add it like that. If I wanna add a portion here, more than one, I can do two. All six are not programmed. I can go through them by tapping on these browse buttons. My cats eat from anything, so they don't really care that they can't even eat from this, but you can add this on top. And that's just clean air, and that's the way it's designed to work. If I wanna go to the upper feeder, I just remove this. I put this here. And then I add this here. Now I have battery here and you can see it says, just for backup, you have the vacuum function here. You unlock this and you hit the vacuum button to seal it. it. Takes a little bit of time, but you get the feedback immediately once it's done. The icon there stops blinking. When this is sealed, if you try to open it, you hear that sound. Your food is inside, fresh and ready to be served at the right time. If I wanna feed them manually right now, I can just press that. Time for food, guys, come on. This is new, so this guy is inspecting to see what's going on. Any good? This is the first time they're seeing it, so it is going to take them a little bit of time to get used to it. Now all these guys have different tastes. Some of them like wet food, some of them like dry food, some of them like lickables only, mostly through the day, even though that's not exactly enough calories for them. But they do tend to eat this kind of food once in a while. So this is your settings, this is your browse buttons, your voice, this is your vacuum, your manual feeding. And this, you'd lock the screen just to make sure nobody can mess with your settings. This little lady here is 19 years old. Time for food, guys. Come on.
more information, please go to gadgetify.com, also youtube.com at gadgetify. These guys were kind enough to send me one to review. I was hesitant because it was designed for dogs, but my cats seem to like it as well. I'm going to link in the description to their website so you can find out more about what this product has to offer. Thanks for watching.